If you didn't pay me a fucking super chat, can you just fucking kill yourself? Bitch, you didn't fucking pay for that. Fucking die. I'm calm. I'm calm, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Nigga. I'm shit. By the way, that's Sunrise Production. How is everybody doing? So I put out a Twitter poll a couple days ago uh, asking for people what they wanted me to talk about in this promotional video because a certain someone uh, had insinuated that I was a sick fuck for uh, wanting to make this channel. They don't even know what it's about yet. But I thought, hey, let's indulge it. What is it that makes up a sick fuck? Uh, so I wanted to know, hey, do you guys want me to talk about my recent revenge porn conviction? Do you want me to talk about my felony conviction? Do you want me to talk about my alcoholism or my serious substance abuse? Some people got the joke, some people didn't. Uh, Obviously, I don't have any of those problems. I'm not a re convicted revenge pornographer. I'm not a felon, not an alcoholic. I barely drink in public and socially, and I never drink while I'm alone because that's kind of just sad. While we're at it, there's this list of other things. I've numbered them because it's important. Uh, number one, never knocked up a woman out of wedlock. Number two, never knocked up two different women out of wedlock. I mean, I've never knocked up any woman out of wedlock, but... Uh, number three, never tried to pressure my partner into a threesome. Number four, I've never done numbers one through three while proclaiming Christ is king. Number five, I've never been in a fight in somebody else's house because they made fun of my height, or for any other reason. Number six, I've never been in a fight in another country. Number seven, I've never had multiple courts approve three temporary restraining orders against me. Number eight, I've never had multiple courts approve two restraining orders against me. Number nine, and it seems redundant, I've never had a court approve one temporary restraining order against me. Uh, number 10, I've never been 34, helping my high school online girlfriend pick out a prom dress. Number 11, I know it seems redundant. Uh, after number 7 through 10, but I've never violated any temporary restraining orders, and I've never violated a permanent order less than 48 hours after it was approved by the court. Huh. 12, I've never been convicted of any crime. 13, I've never been arrested. 14, I've never cowardly threatened anyone anonymously online. Hmm. Number 15, I've never stolen my friend's property. Number 16, I've never stolen my girlfriend's ex-property or ex-girlfriend's ex-property. Or number 17, I've never stolen anybody's property. It's crazy, right? And number 18, I've never relied on anyone, anyone, to provide any financial support for any of my kids, let alone 100% of that financial support from a man I claimed was the most dangerous man in my kid's life. So that's... 18 things plus the original four. That's 22 things. One or two of those things, you know, people make mistakes. I got it. Even four or five of those things, I would say, eh, if the person's apologetic, they could, you know, make it through. But 22 things. And I'm a sick fuck for some videos. Hmm. Well, I would probably recommend certain people rewind to number 11. Because chances are, uh, a storm's fucking coming. Have a good one. Out of the city, as we're seeing this push on the northwest and western parts of Kiev, these trains are now packed full of people who are desperately having a little light snack trying here. Trying to get out of the Half city. Half the size of my normal little meat tray here. The sense and the fear grows. That Russia I'm going to lose 20 pounds this month. I was at 266 when I left. I was back below 266.6. And towards the I was 266.2 this morning. Part of the city, I will be 250 or below by the end of this month, this guaranteed. City is totally in guaranteed. And the fear is that they will lay siege to it. These people, some of them have been waiting here for hours. They've been pushing, shoving, desperately trying to get out. And it's just awful. 
to see the fear in people's eyes. They're just frantically trying to get. Yeah, I am two sixty six, bitch. A lot of families saying goodbye to each other. You can come here and wave me if you want, you fucker. You know where I live, cocksucker. And they're hoping. I am 266 pounds. I don't have to lie to kick it. Unlike you fags who should All fucking right, kill yourself. Platform at the train station in I don't have to sit here and lie. <laughs> Still to come tonight, Ukrainians are not just trying to escape to Western Ukraine. That's Hundreds never been me. Are fleeing the country altogether. We'll look at the refugee situation right now and talk with top Czech officials about how that country is mobilizing to accommodate them. Um, you know, you're really worried about non-white immigration. You're a white supremacist. Like, I don't really know if I buy into that. Like, I've talked to white supremacists and I've talked to really racist people, and I think that there are like distinct differences between these types of people. So, yeah, I, I've never. Not to say, to be clear, maybe John Tron was all of those things, but if he was, I just hadn't seen enough to actually know that. I, like, that's not my takeaway or my feeling in my head about it. That like, oh yeah, he's definitely a white supremacist, racist, Nazi, or whatever. Um, you know, I thought I was going to see him in Texas for a killstream debate, but apparently he. I don't want to make anything up. I don't know if he canceled or if something came up, or maybe he was never going to be there and Ralph lied about it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Or even lied about it. I'm not sure. If I shit myself, I would tell you motherfuckers. I'd probably make more money off shitting myself. I might pull down my fucking pants and shit all over the place today. Do they? Um, the problem that we're having is that. Uh, because of the weapons that the Zelensky regime uh, handed out willy-nilly in the last few days, a lot of criminals have these uh, military-grade weapons, quite frankly. And so uh, there's been robberies, there's been looting, there's been rapes, there's been all kinds of havoc because of these criminals. And uh, it's known for a fact that, these, uh, that the, a lot of the shooting that went on last night in Kiev had nothing to do with the Russians. The Russians were 10 kilometers or more away from from these shootings, so it was clearly probably gang-related. Gonzalo Lira Lopez оказался в Киеве накануне российской спецоперации. Gonzalo Lira Lopez. Он приехал на Украину в командировку перед началом нашей операции. To find out exactly what I said. And so these propagandists in this six-minute video clip that is playing repeatedly on Russian television and Ukrainian television, it claims that I am saying things that I never said. Things that are oh, insulting such, such and deeply a brave hurtful statement. Such a to brave the pride and honor talk. of the Ukrainian people. I denounce this propaganda. And fortunate for me, I have the live streams where you can see that I never said anything remotely like what is portrayed that I said in this propaganda. My sole interest in talking about the current conflict is to, number one, find the truth. Of what it's so funny that when you say things that are factually accurate, that go against the bullshit that is floating around, oh, you get into all kinds of trouble, all kinds of trouble. I had breakfast and then, as you might recall, if you follow me on Telegram, I went for a ramble around Krishatik. I walked all the way from the Premier Palace Hotel, um, down the Krishatik, all the way to Maidan Square and back. And uh, I reported on what I heard and what I saw. And what I saw was very little. Uh, there were a bunch of press people at the uh, Maidan Square. And I made sure to um, video them and, and make it clear what I thought of them. I think that they're despicable, you know. Uh, they're system pigs, as far as I'm concerned. They, they, they exist to serve the corrupt leadership class that we have in the West. That's what they are. I uploaded all these videos that I'd done and I um, went to the smoking lounge to have a cigarette with a very big cup of coffee, extremely big cup of coffee, 
because, you know, I, I started smoking again because of the situation. And, uh, you know, I'm stressed out. And I'm there at the, um, at the smoking lounge. And uh, the, um, the hotel manager, whom I'd never met before, a very well put together guy, he, he seemed like a very capable man. He showed up, um, he, he greeted me, uh, he knew who I was exactly. I, I thought that, you know, I, I didn't quite understand what was going on. And he identified himself as the manager and um, I shook his hand automatically. And, uh, and I thought maybe he had news as to how to get to Kharkov. He was there to kick me out. In no uncertain terms, he told me that he wanted me to leave the hotel as soon as possible. And he was very uh, calm and collected about it, very cool, um, not um, hysterical or anything. It was no, a very cool customer. And uh, I asked him what specifically had I done to, um, to warrant this. And he said something that I didn't understand. He said that he didn't want to have any um, Putin propagandist in his hotel. And that's heavy. And that's real goddamn heavy, you know what I mean? Hi there. I'm here in Kharkiv, Ukraine, Eastern Ukraine. I am 40 kilometers from the border with Russia. And here we are all waiting for the invasion. Look around you. Look how terrified we all are. Just waiting around. Uh, oh, oh, wait a second. We're not waiting around for any invasion because nobody here over the age of 12 or with an IQ of over 90 seriously thinks that there's going to be an invasion because it's bullshit. Oh, and something else happened too. Yeah, that some Chechen leader. You know, I want to meet this guy. Some Chechen leader also saw the video and thought it was aces. Okay, but I, you know, if, if a Chechen leader thinks that you're cool, I mean, those fuckers, man, they're made of hardwood, right? I mean, dude, those guys are, are like solid. Uh, I mean, I bet when they fuck their women, it's a miracle that those girls survive. You know what I'm saying? All hard, all the time. But anyway, I thought it was pretty cool, but... It's been fucking intense, I'll tell you that right now. I mean, no kidding. It's been intense as all get out, man. It's fucking war, man. This is... I mean, look. It, Light snack here. Trying to get out of the Half the city. size of my normal little meat tray here. sense and the fear grows that Russia I'm going to lose 20 pounds this month. I was at 266 when I left. I was back below 266.6. And towards the... I was 266.2 this morning. Part of the city, I will be 250 or below by the end of this month, guaranteed. City is totally guaranteed. And the fear is that they will late.